Hey there, my lovelies, and welcome to my booktube channel, The Sassy Library Fox. My name is V, and today I'm going to talk about my August to be read. And yes, it's still hot in here. <laughs> I think you can see it on my face. <laughs> it's probably glistening, <laughs> and I'm not a vampire in sunlight. Um, yeah, anyway, it's hot. And I decided I would um, kind of follow a tradition or well, summer tradition, kind of. I always read T.J. Klum books during the summer and I decided I would read a very, very... Well, the title is perfect for August <laughs> because I'm going to read Heat Wave by T.J. Klum and it fits perfectly to the current state of the weather right now. <laughs> And it will hopefully be a light enough read to be able to concentrate on it. It's already the third book in the series and I can't wait to read more about Nick and Seth and all their friends because after the second book there happened a lot and there were many revelations and I just love Nick and Seth together, they are great. And I'm very curious how the ending is going to play into that one. For everyone who's new to this series, it's basically a super power or superhero story. Um, we have Seth and Nick who are two geeks and best friends in the first book. They both have some sort of kind of crush on each other, but they won't admit it. And <laughs> Well, there are superheroes in their city and Nick wants to become one. So the first book is full of a lot of shenanigans in which, or yeah, well, Nick is trying to become a superhero due to various and different approaches. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and it was Honestly, book one and book two were hilarious. Um, book two was a little bit more or slightly more serious than the first one, but the humor is still great in both of them. And I, this story took such an unexpected turn of events in the second book. So I'm very curious where TJ Clone is going with this story and what's going to happen with Seth and Nick in this last installment. Yeah, I'm so ready to dive into this. I love the first two books. I loved so much when I read them. And I'm pretty certain there will be a lot of hilarious moments in that one as well. I'm not gonna say all too much about the book because it's book three in the series and I honestly don't want to spoil anything. Let's just say super hero original story and with a lot of humor, with great characters and funny interactions, yeah. And a very nice MC, or well, two nice MC. Seth is more quiet and the quiet reserved kind of type and Nick is extremely outgoing. He has ADHD, so yeah, I love the representation of mental health and of ADHD as well. Yeah, let's, let's put it that way. And the second book I want to read in August and finally I want to read it. This has been sitting on my shelf for ages. I think I once already spoke about it in a video but I still haven't read it and I decided I would have to change that because what's better for August and for the summer heat than to read a K-pop romance and the funny thing about that one is that we don't just have a girl that moves to South Korea and has no idea about idols and everything and is kind of exploring Seoul and yeah, that's one of the aspects. But the second thing I read in reviews is that it plays during the winter time. So Seoul during the winter time must be so amazing. And I can't wait to read about all the food and the things that usually make a K-pop romance and K-pop drama. And 
I usually end up, um, well, let's say slightly disappointed whenever I pick up a K-pop romance, but I only heard really, really good things about this one. And even the people or the friends of me that are usually as critical as I am when it comes to K-pop romances said that this one is great. So I can't wait to dive into that one and I'm pretty certain I will love it. Almost 80% convinced I will love it. So yeah, this is definitely going to be an August book <laughs> because I really need to read that one and I want to find out if it's really as great as everyone says. The best K-pop romance I read so far was Idol Minds by KT Salvo and the second book of him as well. And yeah, I'm very curious if this is going to be a winner as well. So far KT Salvo was the only author that ever persuaded me of a K-pop romance. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we will see if that one is going to persuade me as well. Okay, so those are the two books I want to read in August. They are both rather thin and I think that's perfectly fine because the heat is making me tired and it's really hard to keep up a reading schedule. <laughs> okay, never mind. I would really love to hear what you are going to read in August if it's as hot over at your place as it is over here. Um, I probably should get a fan or something like that. Um, yeah, what you are going to read in August, if you want to read something light, if you want to read something heavy, and well, what are you up to in August in general? Are you going on vacation? Or were you already on a holiday? Okay, well, I guess that's it from me. Um, we will see each other in the comments, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, I guess there's nothing left to say except of take care, stay healthy and safe, and see you around the next time. Bye!